with a song and video, Firework, by Katy Perry, can contribute to one's understanding of Katy Perry, Perry's video, Wide Awake, because of the verses that make various references to vampirism. In Wide Awake, there's an attempt to escape the land of the dead, where one is being dread and drained and fed upon. And in the opening of Firework, it talks about feeling like people who, in the 19th century, who had this anxiety that if they were ever buried, they might not be discovered that they to be still be alive. And people then at that time had this fear that they might be put in the ground in their coffins still alive. And this was, led to the development of the forerunners of today's vampire stories. So there's a discussion of, you know, basically, do you ever feel like a vampire or someone who's about to become one? One of them is, is about being buried in the underground and screaming in your coffin. But the other one is about being essentially an empty shell. The empty shell character is a formula, according to people who criticize Twilight, for romance fiction. It's about someone who's completed by finding a super powerful lover. Much like what happens to Bella Swan, the ugly duckling character in Twilight, who's, who meets the vampire Edward Cullen, who becomes her lover. So, the advice given in, in firework is to ignite a spark within, and if you feel like you're something like a vampire and sparkle. Now, is this sparkling gained by some sort of vampiric means, is the question. And in Wide Awake, it appears that might be the case. Because of the, the power coming from the underworld, where if anybody draws on the food there, they have to return. They're doomed to stay there for eternity, or at least come back. In Firework, then, we also see this light coming out of someone's chest, which we also see in the Wild Wide Awake video, after eating the poison fruit of the underworld. Katy Perry's character shoots out this flare from her chest. Much like in the Firework video, where the flare goes out and then touches someone else, and that induces another reaction. So that's an interaction between Katie and her fans. And in the video, there's essentially a new fan created or or brought back who's like a younger version of Katie. We see this light open up and a, and a door open up next to her. And Katie's younger incarnation and Katie together try to escape this underworld labyrinth. The kid at first looks a little bit creepy and sinister, and, which is only to be expected after you've been in the underworld that long. But there's also a hint that the young Katie might have some vampiric characteristics reflecting the, the draining qualities of Hades, because as Katie leads her younger self down the hallway by the hand, she's surrounded by mirrors, and yet the young Katie casts no reflection. The young Katie is, is, follows along at first and alerts her that the, the floor is crumbling behind her. And it's the older Katie who gets past the paparazzi behind the mirrors and manages to break her way through. And here we have another instance of a kind of shooting and combined with a sort of soul draining. There's this old superstition or belief that when someone takes a picture of you, they might take a bit of your soul. And as a celebrity, there's a lot of sacrifice having to put out a lot of one's personal life that might not be desirable. And that's part of the title of the movie Katy Perry has just put out called Part of Me. So what part do you allow yourself to, to share with the world and what part would you rather just keep to yourself? And sometimes there's more taken than you'd like. So we have another instance of, of shooting in the, the paparazzi type photographer behind a mirror. And Katie manages to break through that. But after that she's exhausted. And the persona, the, the miniature version of herself, or possibly a fan version, a fan, has to complete the journey for her and get her past the, the minotaurs who guard the exit to the labyrinth. 
So after that, it is the child version of her who helps her make her escape. <laughs> 